Hey guys. So happy, what's today? Tuesday. I just got back in from a walk and I am getting over a cold, so please excuse my voice. But I wanted to hop on really quickly because I had something really exciting that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but before I do so, let me grab some tea and I'll be right back. You might wanna grab your tea too because this might be a longer video. to hop on here and chat with you guys about this journey that I am on and invite you to take the journey with me. So a lot of you have been saying that you really enjoy the SBC 30 Day Faith Challenge. Thank you so much to everyone that took the challenge. If you are in the Facebook group, which you definitely should be because honestly, the Facebook group has literally become so lit on its own. I'm just so excited for what God is doing in that group because there's over, there's almost 400 women in the group now. And it's just to the point where people have finally gotten comfortable being honest and sharing and opening up. So even though the challenge is over, people are still sharing. People are still asking for prayer. People are still praying for each other, supporting each other, giving guidance. And that's what I always envisioned the group to be. So first of all, huge shout out to everybody that's in that, in that group. If you are a part of the group, um, or even if you're just subscribed to this channel, I appreciate you. Comment down below, hashtag SBC fam, so I can know that you're subscribed and that you are a part of the SoBD Chat fam. I appreciate you and I see you and I love you guys so much. You really have no idea how much joy it brings me to see your comments and engagement and just excitement about God. So thank you for that. Um, but I am on a soul beauty journey. And I have been documenting that journey here on YouTube, but I realized that I never actually formally introduced what it was. So if you've been watching, watching, if you've been watching my wash day diary series, you know that I have been opening up a lot lately. I mean, I'm usually pretty vulnerable on my channel anyway, but as of lately, I've been being very intentional about just reflecting and sharing those insights with you guys. And it seems like you've been liking them. Thumbs up this video if you have been liking those videos so far. Um, and I've also started documenting just me stepping out of my comfort zone, me stepping out of my safety net, me stepping outside of this ideal version that I had kind of created for myself and really exploring what it means to become and to live as my authentic self. And I've been having so much fun doing that. Um, I just got back from taking a walk and I was just reflecting on how in such a short period of time, I feel like I've already grown so much. And I'm just so glad that I'm able to share that journey here. So I wanna invite you to take that journey too. Um, and how do you take the journey is simple. It's not like a challenge or anything. Um, although I do plan to host another challenge very soon, this is not it. This is more so of just following me along, seeing my journey as I go on this soul beauty journey to dig deeper in myself, to explore self more, to explore self love, to explore um, self care, to explore my spirituality and my relationship with God and just sharing that with you guys and hoping that my insights and my experiences will inspire you to start living your most authentic life as well. Um, I'm very passionate about authenticity and self-love and self-care, but something that I noticed in my business and in my brand is that I was talking about a lot of stuff that I was not doing. And this year I decided that I was no longer going to be talking about things that I'm not doing and sharing things to you guys about um, topics that I don't feel like I have the knowledge to share in. So as far as like stepping out of your comfort zone and living authentically and walking in your purpose, I felt like I had kind of stepped into my purpose. Like I dipped my toe in and then I stepped back because I got scared. I got afraid and I realized that in order for me to fully walk in my purpose, I had to fully show up and I wasn't ready to do that yet. I wasn't ready to put down that version of myself that I had put in my mind for over over 20 years so that's what the soul 
beauty journey is that is what you are going to be seeing on this channel i'm going to be taking you along you've already saw some videos but what i've done is i've created a playlist for you guys so you can basically start from the first video if you're new or if you just want to catch up start from the first video and you can watch the whole playlist of my soul beauty journey and share your insights with each video that i create and i take you along in my experience share your insights so what does the soul beauty journey look like for me it's going to look like a lot of stepping out of my comfort zone so like i said going to a lot of different events networking connecting with people that i admire and people that i want to work with um and i'm just so excited because i've been doing exactly that i've been showing up i've been being present i've been doing the work physically spiritually and mentally so um you know, I, I don't know if I shared this yet on the vlog, but the other day I was having this conversation with myself actually about how I feel like God is telling me to get ready for the life that I claim that I want. And that's what this soul beauty journey is and means to me. It means getting ready for the life that I claim and say that I want. The life that I've been praying for, the life that I've been manifesting, the life that I've been journaling about. I feel like it's right there on the brink. I know it's coming, but I have to get physically, mentally, and spiritually prepared. I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to get out of my mindsets. I have to Go to the next level of faith. And you may feel like you are in the same spot. Um, and if you are, comment down below and let me know. Because I love when you guys, you know, connect with me and tell me how you're feeling. But I, that is how I feel. So some of the things I've done so far is I've gotten a gym membership. Um, I'm going to sign up for personal training sessions. Um, I've been working with a therapist. I've been working with a business coach. Like I'm really investing in myself like I never have before. And I'm so excited about it. Like spending the type of money that I would have never imagined I would be able to spend. Being completely honest with you guys. But I'm so excited about it because I know that it's preparing me. So don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Don't be afraid to get clear and get real with yourself and be like are you living up to the standard that of the lifestyle that you want to create and i had to have that conversation with myself and i realized that i was not so that's what this soul beauty journey is about for me it is a journey of exploration it is a journey of authenticity it is a journey of investing in myself and growing spiritually physically and mentally and i'm so excited to take you guys along you'll be seeing all of the fun and different and exciting activities that I'm going to be doing from salsa to improv to spoken word like there's so many things that I'm forcing myself to do to, to prepare myself um, you'll also see my fitness journey as I'm working with my personal trainer you will see um, the different things that I'm doing with my brand as far as coaching and hosting events um, podcast all of that so all the things that i'm doing all the people that i'm meeting you'll be seeing it you'll be witnessing it right here on this channel so i wanted to just pop in tell you guys about the soul beauty journey and encourage you to join me if you're down if you're ready to go on this journey with me and share your insights with each video that i post um go ahead and comment down below with sbc hashtag sbc fam so i can know that you're a real one you're part of the fam you down for it and don't forget to thumbs up this video and yeah i'm excited um don't mind my hair right now i'm just <sighs> that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day but just know that i'm getting it together okay i'm getting it together but in the meantime actually what i want you to do if you are down for the soul beauty journey with me if you're down to watch it and to reflect and to grow as well what i want you to do is comment down below and let me know what is one thing that you are one story that you're going to stop telling yourself about the things that you want in life and i know that may be a difficult question but I shared this in one of my videos and that was about letting go the story that I am an introvert. I had to let that go in order to fully walk into my purpose and to fully walk into my, my calling and my destiny. I know that I had to let that go. So I shed that layer and I'm in the process of letting that go, go and growing and evolving. But I want to know from you, what are you 
letting go of? What story are you letting go of? What narrative are you deciding to stop telling yourself so that you can move into that next level, into that next space that you are being called to? So I'm excited to hear from you guys and I will see you in the next video. Come through skin, come through skin, come through skin, come through skin. <laughs> All right, bye. See you guys later.